So Michael Jackson is in the news again. He is getting sued by the King of Bahrain for breach of contract. Apparently he was supposed to have a record deal, write a play and a book for the King of Bahrain and didn't do it with all these advances. And so now he's suing him for $7 million, which I think is kind of funny because any time that Michael Jackson gets sued, he wins. The strange thing here is that when the King of Bahrain took the stand today, he actually said nothing but compliments about Michael Jackson, which I didn't think the realm of Michael Jackson could get any weirder, but today it got even stranger. Hey everybody, how's it going? Today is November 20th, it's a Thursday, and about a month ago or so I talked about Somali pirates, and I wanted to bring it up again because it made huge news again today. So let's talk about pirates. So two tankers got released today for $1.7 million that got paid off, and the only people that were against it were the UK people. Now paying these ransoms means that more Somali pirates will actually get more ships and will demand more money, says the UK people, which I totally agree with them on. Currently, the Somali pirates have about a dozen ships and about 200 hostages on their hands. Now, not only are they getting more stingy, they were offered $2.5 million for one ship, and they declined it, saying that they originally wanted $8 million and that they were sticking with what they wanted. I'm going to wrap this up here really quick, but the big question right now is, how are these people going to get stopped? How are these pirates going to get stopped? They have more and more ships every time I go to look for stories like this, and they have more and more hostages. And... The only way that they're getting out of everything is by, pay, uh, is by us paying them more. So is there a better way or is there not a better way to get ships back, especially oil tankers, which have like, like one oil tanker had $100 million with the oil on it. Well, there you go. If we get that, then we'll probably save money on oil here in America. But at the same time, maybe prices will go up because we just spent $2.5 million trying to get that oil back. Let me know. Um, this is going to be kind of a quick quick video, quick wrap up. So let me know, let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys later. Also really quick, um, flyer tomorrow, the show, hopefully I'll see you guys there. Anyways, peace out.